Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with uh, the create new role here and we created the test and test2. And now uh, let's go because we have here test and test2. Let's create a new role with a test. And we have an error because the test already exists. So we need to add some validation here. And let's open the create role request. And here we added only the required, but I'm going to say also to be the string and maybe to be max 30 characters. And also now I'm going to add the rule to be unique the roles. And the name is name. And let's come here and refresh. And let's say test again create now the name has already been taken but because i'm going to use the same request on the update i'm going to chain here the ignore dollar sign this role okay let's close this and now let's uh, add the button here to edit to edit the role so open the role index view and here we have the edit and delete. Let's add a link here, which is going to go, and I'm going to add this, I'm going to bind the shref, add the route, roles dot edit, and pass in here the ID, role dot ID. And let's add the class, just the bit text. Uh, green I'm going to say green 400 and on hover change that text to be text green 600 good and let's say edit okay now if I come here yeah we have this let's go uh, okay so here we have now let's create the roles edit component and also the controller to return on that component. So I'm going to close this and open the create page inside the admin roles and I'm going to save this as uh, but before that let's just one more thing I'm going to add some styles here to be like a card because right now it's as uh, just text and here when we have margin top 6 max width MD and MX Auto, I'm going to add a BG to be slate 100. I'm going to add a shadow large and rounded to be large also. And come here. Yeah, we have something like this now. Just let's add pattern of six okay now let's save this as a edit page and here we need to imp define a prop for the let's remove this also checkbox to define prop for roles because we need the role here so let's say const props is going to be equal with define props and add an object say a role which is going to be type object and required I'm going to say to be true this is required and then on the form we have here which is the name string the empty string I'm going to say props dot role dot name so we cre I created the props here, const props, and now the name is going to be equal with props role name. Good. Let's say update role here. Okay. This is to go back. Good. Then also update the role. Then 
we are okay to, now we, in the form we need to say put here to change the method then the route is going to be update and we need to pass here the roller.id good then change this to be update okay now let's close this close this and let's open the role controller and make changes here here we have the id i'm going to say role but first let's create a variable role to be equal with a role and import the model from spati and i'm going to use the find by id passing the id here and then let's return inertia render the admin slash roles slash edit and we need to add here now the role prop which is going to be new role resource and pass in here the role we get from that id and i think we are okay then on the update the same thing let's find the role and update that copy paste here we'll assign role update pass here the request validated And now, then I'm going to return to the roles index. So just paste that in here. And I think we are okay. Just change the request to be the same as create role request. I'm going to use the same here. And let's work also with the destroy. The same paste that role and then say role delete and return to the route index but because we aren't there so i'm not i'm just going to say return back like this and i think we are good let's see now let's go refresh go back we have user test and so on. If I click to this moderator, edit, yeah. And we have moderator here, test, okay. Test two, okay. Let's say I want to update this to be test three. Click update and yeah, we return back with test three here. Now let's uh, go and remove, update. Yeah, the name field is required. Let's add the test as a name, just test here. Update, the name has already been taken. Good. Now let's add the link to delete. For that, we need to open the role index view. And I'm going to copy this and paste down there. The route is going to be roles uh, destroy. Add the role ID. This is going to be now method. I'm going to add a method which is going to be delete. And I'm going to say as a button. And let's go back and refresh. Yeah, we have edit and edit. And let's say delete here. And let's change also the text color. So select green and say, let's make it red. And to this data set, I'm going to add the class space X of uh, four. Go back and we have something like this. Now, if I click delete this one, the test three, we deleted, test, we deleted. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.